Dear friends, today I have a few words about the clash between China and India in Galwan Valley of Eastern Ladakh. As you are all aware, on June 15th night, the forces of India and China, which were deployed at Galwan Valley of Eastern Ladakh, had physical confrontation and clashes, in which 20 Indian soldiers had sacrificed their lives and more number of Indian soldiers were inflicted with injuries side by side. From Chinese side also, there were casualties of more than 40 Chinese soldiers as per the initial reports. Ladakh, East and Ladakh is one of the most sensitive regions or strategically important place both for China and India. Perhaps you are all aware of the Silchen Glacier, the highest strategic location in the world is in the eastern Ladakh. The Galwan Valley where the clashes took place was located just below the Siachen Glacier at a height of above 16,000 feet from the sea level. The actual reason for the confrontation between the forces of India and China are yet to be known. But tracing the background of the relations between the two countries, that is India and China, we can say for certain that the main reason was the disputes pertaining to the land on both sides of the line of actual control or the border line. China had never accepted the border in Ladakh area or the border between India and China stretching from Ladakh to Arunachal Pradesh of more than 3,500 kilometers. The fact is that even the Mohan line, which was demarked years ago in the early 50s, was not accepted by China. Subsequently, a lot of talks were held between the two countries in order to sort out and finalize an acceptable border to both the countries. In 1993, some sort of agreement was maintained or established between the two countries after a lot of negotiations out for restoring peace and tranquility on both sides of the LAC. But it was also subsequently violated by China because of their repeated intrusion into the Indian territory, as you were known in 2013-2014, and the latest in 2017 is in Dokla, the tri-junction of India, China and Bhutan, one of the most sensitive locations in the Ladakh region. But the present confrontation or class, which is basically localized, was the result of India's attempts to improve the strategic infrastructure in the area, especially from Galwan Valley, then Depsong, uh, Pongong, Taiso Lake, Depsang and nearby places. In Siachen, we have already had our helicopter landing facilities. In Toglakbuk Oldi, which is also near the Galwan, Galwan Valley, recently India had made spectacular progress and established a mini base where the transport aircrafts of the type G-17 can be landed and the presently our border road organization under government of India or the army is engaged in the construction of a very important link road from finger number 14 stretching from Galwan Valley to Sialchin border which if completed will reduce the time of the movement of the forces from Galwan Valley to Salcha region to the Sialchin glacier. So it's a spectacular improvement. More than 75% of the construction work of this link road is completed. Considering these facts, the Chinese leadership and particularly the People's Liberation Army, which was deployed on both sides of, on the side of the LAC, had made a confrontation and intruded into the Galban Valley, the East and Ladakh area, that finally resulted in the clash between the soldiers of the two countries. So, the thing is that 
when india is making constructions or infrastructure development strategic infrastructure developments in the project china make objections but on the other hand over the last few decades china was engaged in the construction of a lot of sensitive roads and bridges all along the lac on their side india has never made any objections because these factor gave some impetus for the chinese leadership and people's liberation army to object india's strategic infrastructure construction projects in this area so there are other geopolitical factors for china taking very aggressive confrontation paths with india on the border issue the most important perhaps is the isolation of the china in the international field especially after the covid-19 episode us administration and notably donald trump has made virulent an attack against chinese government and chinese leadership attributing that their malfeasance had created a lot of damage to the international community in spreading corona virus in many european countries including us whereas they had made some restrictions on the movement of chinese nationals affected by corona in wuhan to other cities of china such as beijing not only that one and another important factor was the very outright approach of us administration on the issue of hong kong where china had recently made some attempts to deny the autonomy of hong kong which was based on an agreement between the china hong kong and british government the donald trump or us administration has stated that they will they would give unconditional support to maintain the autonomy of hong kong there are other factors too because india is also playing a pivotal or crucial role in checkmating the designs of china to expand their bases is the east china and south china sea and there we occupy a strategic upper hand in the indian ocean or asia pacific region significantly india play a leadership role in reviving the quadrilateral an axis of four important countries of the asia region that is japan australia india along with the us to checkmate the designs or the expansionist or the aggressive postures of the china to make their bases in east china and west china sea as well as to woo a number of countries neighboring countries of india such as nepal myanmar afghanistan pakistan sri lanka etc by extending liberal financial assistance or infrastructural projects all these factors have contributed to the present escalation of clash or tension between the two countries in galwan bay and there are also domestic compulsions for chinese leadership to adopt an aggressive posture in relation within her relations with india the point is that xi jinping which was somehow just the most powerful leader in china after mao zedong has considerably lost his image in the way of handling this covid-19 or other economic issues in the country a number of countries especially in the europe had also initiated moves to create some sort of ban for the import or the liberal export of chinese products to these countries that has considerably adversely affected the domestic economy of china all these factors have also contributed to these things now we have to think about what should be our strategy to confront the chinese designs and definitely the prime minister has warned that no inch of the indian territory will be allowed to be encroached by any country including china and the sacrifices made by the indian soldiers would not go or would not be considered as a loss and india's sovereignty and and integrity would be protected at any cost but as galwan is basically a localized confrontation between the forces of two countries the latest hope that the issue may be sorted out through diplomatic level more cordial relations or cordial discussions between the leaders of the two countries 
as well as the leaders of the armed forces. This has happened exactly in the case of this Dokla incident in June 2017, where Chinese forces were stood face to face with Indian forces for more than 73 days. And the ice was really broken after protracted discussions between the leaders of two countries as well as the senior heads of the defense forces of the two countries. Let us hope this present confrontation in Gulwan Bali would not lead to a serious war or confrontation between the two greatest or largest powers of the Southeast Asia, which are trying to emerge as major powers in this world in the in the 21st century. Thank you.